Hi everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from earthyscrap.blogspot.com and earthyscrap on Facebook. And in this video, I'm gonna make a project life spread using products from Freckle Fawn. And right now, I'm going through my Freckle Fawn journaling card stash. I have a lot of them and they work um, a lot well together. They don't have to be from the same kit. My trick to journaling cards is to always use a few filler cards and also get journaling cards depending on how much journaling I have to do, then I pick the cards. Now I need a 4x6 card for that title card. And I ended up picking one paper, I believe, from the Chamel line. And this is a good way to use all the 6x6 paper pads to use them in Project Life. If you do Project Life, if you don't, then you can always die cut. And this is a really simple card. I just needed to put that little photo from a, an activity at my daughter's school and two stickers. And that card already had like a floral pattern. And I use the Fudanosuke calligraphy pen that come that ruler that comes with the pen to align my letters and those letters and the stickers are from Freckle Fawn and I love those puffy hearts. They're awesome. And this is a picture of my daughter, so I wanted to put an eye, a heart, and a donut. bit out of frame but I'm using the um, ruler again but I changed my mind and I'm gonna change the eye that I'm using and I like to staple the hearts because they look makes it look like extra puffy uh, crafty Jen Shao did that in a video and I really like how it looks so try to copy it and I also like um, the chipboard phrases I like phrases in general to use in my photo that one says delicious and I haven't used that sticker pack with the donuts so I was looking for an excuse to use that and those are really old alphas from freckle farm like three years old and finding a way to use them and I still have a lot of letters to use it's crazy how much those have uh, those have lasted me but I like them I wish they would make a second round of those because I love them and like I said they have lasted a really long time I'm planning to do like a card or something where I used the rest of them because I ran out of um, bowels and I'm just letting fun not to my laundry in a sad face because I hit laundry and that's just my daughter playing in the living room And I did that before and I really like how it looked. I'm just gonna enclose the movie ticket and I'm gonna fuse around it with my fuse tool from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm gonna fill the rest of the thing with sequins. And I use a bunch of different sequins. I use from Pretty Little Studio, uh, from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Since it's a tight space, I have to use something to move them. And those are from Martha Stewart. And I use a bunch of yellow because that is the movie ticket for Beauty and the Beast. 
and in the movie poster she has the dress so. I made that pocket a little too full but I like how it turned out and I actually made the mistake of putting the well I wasn't planning to do this so I have put the pocket on top of the page protector and then I had to take it off and it was a little hard because it's really in there but it came out pretty well and I was able to put it back and it's not moving anywhere this is my title card and I'm gonna keep it really simple I am crazy about these um, acetate numbers but I also have these cork ones and I've been wanting to use them but I'm gonna end up using the, the acetate big numbers and I also love these acetate doilies they're really pretty And to glue my papers, I'm using the Tembo Mini Power Tape. It's really strong, it's really tiny, so if you like planners or having a planner pouch in your purse, that, that's really helpful. And to glue the acetate, I'm using the Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. And I'm going to write week on top of that one, because I like to layer pieces of acetate that die cuts and I had to do surgery to a K because I didn't have one I can't remember oh I think it was an X yeah I cut an X and I just put the stick facing the other side my date with my really tiny stamper and just added a heart and I needed something else I'm the kind of person that I can leave things alone this is fairly simple compared to what I normally do but I just needed to add those little rhinestones and here is the same I'm just gonna use this rubber phrases with two more little rhinestones. And I wasn't using my wood veneers a lot, so I put them in a pretty bowl and put them in on my table so every time I scrap I use them a little bit. And I love those smiley faces. Wood veneers, they're really old, they're from Freckle Fawn and the Cloud Stew. And I remember that I got a lot because I order a grab bag um, during Black Friday. So if you see those steals during Black Friday, make sure you order some because they are always full of awesomeness. And I wanted to layer this card. I love these little hearts that come in the epoxy sticker sheet. They're basically enamel shapes, the hearts and the stars. They're really cool. I love adding enamel hearts and things like that to my photos because I feel like I'm layering but it's not too busy. And this sticker says always better together because my girls are always hugging and they're together all the time and I'm using this card to journal my week in a really simple way I use the Tumbo Mono drawing pen to draw it and this time I use the new Twin Town markers from Tumbo they have a fine tip there is awesome for journaling I'm so excited because now I can journal in color. And I always like to add, whenever I do a collage like that, I like to add something in the middle so it doesn't look too divided. 
so I use this chipboard stickers from Fecofon. And this is an insert I had to add this week because we went to the National Postal Museum and it was a, a lot of fun. I really like it and they had the post secret exhibit if you ever come to DC and you like mail or things like that you should hang out at that museum it's really fun and this car was already busy so I didn't want to add anything else so I'm just gonna add some labels and phrase chipboard stickers like three chipboard stickers phrases like that six uh, um, three sheets and they're really awesome this is how the whole thing looks with the insert that is a postcard that is free at the museum pictures of my girls inside the museum the different exhibits Oh, they get to take a picture in a booth and decorate it as a stamp. The stamps we saw and a few different features they have in that museum. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. You can also share it with your friends and if you want to follow me on social media, I'm Jenny Garcia N on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Periscope. I'm Earthy Scrap on Facebook and my blog is Earthy Scrap, the blogspot.com. And you also follow Freckle Fawn. Make sure you join the Freckle Fawn Fanatics group on Facebook because they have sneaks of the kids in there and signing shirt project and it's really fun so i hope you have an awesome day bye